Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of WWE 2K24, my universe with the all-American marvelous maniac masters. The last episode did not end on a good note because Heatwave was repeating again and again and again. And after that was over, I took some time off because it was just driving me insane. And then I was like, okay, well, I gotta start recording some more episodes. So let me just get back into this and let me play some more. Get a good out heat wave. And it took me about four or five more matches of it being stuck in heat wave, repeating again and again. And I, at a point, I was wondering, am I going to have to just restart the universe in order to get past heat wave because it's stuck? But. Eventually, here we are now, September week one, no longer stuck in heat wave, and I will say this, if this happens again, I'm, I'm done with WWE 2K24, because there are other games I can play, and there are other stories I can tell, and there are other things that I put off doing that I could do, I am not going to be stuck playing eight, nine matches in a row to leave one event. Um, and I will leave a very unpleasant review, because <laughs> I, I, you shouldn't have to do that, it's, the game should just be cool. Um, and I'm not sure what's causing it, and, uh, who knows what I'll do, you know, eventually at some point I might have to just, uh, rebuild, uh, maybe after, when I change, you know, shows, I'll get rid of some of the, uh, custom created characters, so that there's, there are gonna be some changes we're gonna be making. Uh, once with the new DLC releases. Because I don't know what's causing us, but I do know that it's just driving me insane. And, um, I like peace. I don't want to be frustrated with the game that's doing this stuff. But anyway, let's go on. Next episode. I mean, well, next match. Um, I didn't like how that last match ended. I didn't like losing my championship that way with the shenanigans, with the, uh, you know, the, the repeating of the, uh, of the show, and also having MVP interfering in my match again and again and again. Uh, he, he, you know, I got screwed over. And so, in situations like that, the champion has demanded a rematch. So hopefully, he gets one in the next episode of NXT. Let's find out. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship! And we can already see just how focused he is in this one. How prepared and ready he is to take on this challenge. And standing across the ring from him is the human Redwood Omos. Just a towering, terrifying marvel of a human being. All the raw power and athleticism you can imagine. Omos has all the potential in the world to become a major superstar. He sat under the learning tree of top talents and is now ready to stand out on his own. Punch right in the head. Launching himself from the ropes. Oh, just elbow drop after elbow drop after elbow drop. Punishing their opponent. Corey, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. Even if there's no good answer, how do you possibly beat Omas? <laughs> it's all right, Cole. I, I wouldn't before. be doing my job if I didn't try to think of something. Omas is a physical marvel, but he's also inexperienced. He also doesn't know all the tricks. He doesn't know all the little things that win titles and earn main events. Stay light on your feet. Exploit the inexperience. Maybe then you'll have a shot. A calculated attack here against Omas. Omas is a pope taking yes. flight. Oh, 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 oh. Compressing that little 
No holding back. That's the kind of risk you need to take to earn the title. What? See, that's right there, the shenanigan. They already started with the MVP dude. Hoisting their opponent up. Look out! Ooh. Snake eyes! Held in a perilous position. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Nope. The challenger doesn't even allow a one count. Not enough pressure on the pin. Oh, God. Dropping the elbow. Out, one after another. Just punishing their opponent. No, no, no. Slingshot cross body. That was ridiculous. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Any one of those shots could take you out for good. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. See, this whole MVP thing, dude. Oh. Dude. I want to beat him with that baseball bat that's right there. But I don't want to risk losing the championship. It's hard to replicate the passion that's displayed here in NXT. Such hunger and talent on the black and gold brand. You know you're in for Take a good match. Uh-oh. Returning to the ring now. Take it. Dang, that hurts. No. Thank Catches you. the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Throw him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Hits the drop kick. Dang. Not the ladder. Just tossed their opponent. The challenger eating up some damage. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. He steps foot in the ring again. Elbows right to the knee. Round and round. Ruthless. The challenger looked unhinged with an absolutely uncorked attack on the champ there. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. And another just non-stop aggression. Dude, again if with this freaking MVP guy. How much that championship Come means, on, ref. You got to throw him out. Than that onslaught. Get out of here, MVP. Ref. Ref. Whoa, Thank you. Using their body. Champs got the pen to retain. No early kick out. It is going to take a lot finally, to keep him Finally, finally. We see the difference here. MVP has been ejected. Thank you, goodness. Connected Thank you. So I missed that Y. He's got him scouted. Okay, he got that. Great speed on the rolling leg sweep. Attacking the knee. So much damage inflicted. So we go. God. In an elbow drop, too. Hamas able to counter. Crap. Big boy. And he denies Hamas. Oh, oh, oh the good is Kevin. Yes. Oh. No, 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 no. Get up over there. Get up, get up, get up. Do it. Blast off. Oh. Punishing their opponent. I think it is like right there. I had the championship there. I had it. And. Oh, yeah. The 
let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Yeah. Oh. Reversal. Yeah. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Who wants to get dominated for the play? Cover by the champ. And a kick out right away. Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing. And after this match is already gone for so long. Oh, Moss is in a very vulnerable position here. Come on, let it happen, let it happen. Get it, get it, get it, get it. A human torture. Yes. Yes. Shaw, it was his boss. Shaw. Pull the baby active. Marvelous ladies. Masters. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. He's fought like a champion this whole match, and now he has the title to prove it. Two time NXT champion getting it back after that robbery, after the shenanigans of MVP and Heat Wave. All the craziness, he has got it back, yes. Alright, so here we are, September week two, we actually made it to another week. That is a gift these days, to not be stuck. Ah, moving forward, what a nice feeling. So, now, having been the tag team champions for 401 days, that is exciting. That is exciting. We didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't have plans to be champions that long, but it's happened. We have a good streak going on here. We're just going to keep it going. Our plans to move forward in SmackDown or or uh, or Raw still there? We don't, we don't know because after taking that championship back, he doesn't really want to let it go right now, especially after all those shenanigans. It just, it hurts so much losing the NXT championship. It's going to be a bit before we are willing to relinquish it. Well, who knows what's going to happen? Hopefully nothing crazy. Hopefully no game shenanigans. Hopefully some real match that's worthwhile. Where it's, it's not craziness. But we'll see. NXT. Week 2. Let's do it. Here we go. We're about to see the dominant force of Gallus in full display here, guys. That extreme rules match. Roughshod over WWE for a while now. Ooh. Ooh. It's about GBOT. That's a standard match. We'll see if that happens for the Gallus boys tonight, Corey. And remember, we're going tornado style here tonight, which means we won't see any tags in this one. I don't know why he's so tall. Like that was a heck of a heave we just saw. Come on, bro. Like that. Like he's going for the pin. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Oh, the close line. That didn't go as Joe pictured. With Extreme Rules matches, just about anything goes. And sometimes the end result all comes down to who the more sadistic superstar is. It's not pretty, but I suppose it's true. Uh oh, he's searching for something. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. And that was a precisely oh, measured attack. Nice. Sledgehammer move right there, bro. Come on. Why is he so exhausted already? Get off my bro. There we go. Deep down on the opponent. Into the corner now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't let him get, don't let him get him. Ooh. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a rip-card flurry of combination. 
know what? You want to do it on throw sledgehammers? Ripcord! Oh my goodness! Nasty line! This match grinding him down a little. What a shot! Taking the fight Ooh. near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Fishing for something beneath the ring. No matter which way he uses that ladder, there's going to be a crash. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding up this crowd. He knows how to avoid contact. See this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Escape just in time. Ooh, did you hear that clank of the hammer? One wicked attack after another. Mark the babes out. Oh, he does not like it to be hit by a sledgehammer. I mean, who enjoys getting hit by a sledgehammer? Vicious attack. Oh. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Oh, cracking the kendo stick across the head. The rock guy here. The rock. Look at this raw power. It'll shout. The rock is out. Thunderous impact. Oh, he's going to get the three count right here. I think so. <laughs> no mugs, no fucks on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has. Here are your winners. The Mega Star. Gallus clearly hit hard by this loss. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. That was very good. I was not expecting that to go the way it went. That was crazy. Uh, it was intense. It was actually shorter than I thought it was going to be. But uh, Joe went for the win. And he got it. But, uh, hey, I guess we we gave him a lot. And they, and they took it. But they just couldn't take that much. I don't understand we'll how. Decide which one of these men will start the match for their respective teams. Yeah, it doesn't look like things are going too well, does it? Well, a few hiccups early on, but there's the bell, and here we go. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. Oh, these two can't get on the same page. There is no chance of success. Bell sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. Respect isn't a prerequisite, Cole. It's not something you have to have for your peers, and it's definitely not something to give out freely. If you want respect in WWE, you have to take it. Never forget that. Nice butterfly suplex. So they were just kind of paired off into a match of randomness here. We've got Maniac Masters, Duke Hudson, who do not like each other, by the way, at all. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Nathan Frazier and Oba Femi as a team, which is random put together. They just threw each other together. Men on their mind. Right after my match, an extreme rules match. No way. Sliding under the ropes oh. into a splash on the floor. It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring right wow. side. Nathan oh. retaliates. Nathan breaking the fire. I could have sworn I tapped that line. That's right. Hey, okay, how did that one little kick stun him? Another one of these. Suplex attempt. Oh, reversal. Oh, yes, I like Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Great counter 
offensive ring height. The cover, shoulders down. Here we go. He kicks out with authority. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Dropkick finds the spot. He's starting to struggle here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Rope assisted drop kick. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Power drop kick. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Nathan keeps what, getting what cut down. What did I... What did I... I have yes. no idea why he will look at this guy instead of like, to push this in the ring with him. Oh, the auto targeting drives me bad sometimes. It's in my auto. And I've got to change it because this is ridiculous. Oh, look at that. What a leg sweep. Oh, right to the throat. Great oh. move. That was a good tag team action right there. That was yeah. good for him to do it for a tag team partner. So I hit him. Suplex. And he rolls out to create some separation. He should have created separation by never coming out here. Belly to belly. Vicious. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Eye of the counter. Look at this superhuman power. Wow. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. What's he putting together? Oh, what a back body drop. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. <laughs> I got a showcase of power. Uh-oh. Oh, dang, that was a nice... Reverse. A huge top. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. let's get it on. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its guys knee. From that corner. He's been placed in the corner now. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Wow. Down into a flatjack. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Nathan keeps getting cut down. a barrage on their opponent. Up and down, leg lariat. The life left in Nathan might be out. This time, is it what? Reversal. With the back elbow. Ooh. He reversed back what? From these competitors. He reversed the finisher. Oh my God. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Tagged into the action. This is just wild. Okay, I'm gonna have to put Duke in. These guys are shenanigans. Again. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gun. Lariat! But not before. It only gets a one count. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Yeah, Tremendous quickness with the leg sweep. Here he comes off the tag. Duke taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Close line. Oh, ripped in the hard way. Oh. Oh, an elbow drop for out of measure. Big takedown right there. This match is brutality. Can I say this is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And he slides him back to the mat. Hudson going up high. Taking flight. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man. German suplex with the release. <laughs> they didn't see this enough times. <laughs> Just one more trip <laughs> through a table. 
Just one more time for our friends. What? Actually, they have a block by a, a finisher though. Got it. Two. Just a two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Fine, Buster. Emphatic fall away there. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Hoist it up. Down. Answering back. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. So much punishment has been absorbed on the top. And he's able to reverse. Looking for the victory. Two count. He kicks out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Can't quite get him there. Oh, man. Drop kick. Not a single person in this place is sitting down. We might just be watching one of the greatest matches we've seen in quite some time here. Oh, look at that. The pump handle. Oh, they back up. They're getting too close for comfort. What? No one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're what too busy beating the tar out of each other. So we're both uh -oh, stunned this right is just now. Vicious. Break his arm. Vicious. Strong kick. My goodness. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. True kick hits the mark. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This has just been an absolute mess. Good. Up in the torture rack. This Good. is excruciating. Oh, no. To a bar. That could be it. Give him the ring. Give him the ring. Aw. Uh. I missed the ring. What a tough <laughs> match we just saw. Here are your winners. Jim Carson and the All-American Marvelous Maniac Masters. It's never easy dealing with that sort of cool. I wasn't prepared to the to the, uh, to the timer to In the very end. In the WWE, end. you can never lose sight of the victory, Saxton. That resiliency is something that ensures your legacy. Even though they got the win, I don't know if this rift is too big to overcome. So, Nathan Frazier has suffered a minor injury during his match. Although still clear to compete, the threat of further injury should be a concern on this superstar's mind. Alright, here we are. Week 3 at NXT. Um, last match, we had two matches. I mean, last show we had two matches. And that was uh, a little unexpected. But, uh, you know, it's sometimes you just gotta roll the dice and see what happens. And that's what they did. They just decided to throw a bunch of people together and see what happens. And we saw what happened. Uh, great, a great match there. It was, uh, it was intense. That was, that was, that was, that was uh, they were, they were, they were a good combination, a formidable. All right, what is gonna happen? NXT week three. Any more randomness tossed at us? Let's find out. Seen high flying talent. The man who has finally found that aggression it takes to break through. And his opponent, representing Los Lavarios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Umberto. An athlete who is both captivating and handsome. A true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he, oh, that was ugly. That's in the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Hoisting their opponent. Oh, yeah, what a shot. Oh, oh, Matt slam. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. One more time. 
ground. Just another insane display of power. Climbs back inside. Looks like perhaps a butterfly suplex. No, Fly a rips. butterfly lung blower. Humberto isn't being given any room to recover. Humberto needs to reassert himself back in this match. Humberto's toughness being called into question by that offense. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Punishing their opponent. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Oh, stop, stop, stop. And the forearm smash. Boom. Look at this raw power. It'll set up powerbomb. Thunderous impact. How do you contend with a flashly and acrobatic superstar like Humberto? Do you focus on grounding him? Yeah, that's exactly right. Attack Umberto's legs and keep him away from the ropes. If he can't get airborne or build up speed, Umberto becomes a much less lethal competitor. Umberto isn't being given any room to recover. Keeping Umberto away from the ropes with these attacks, looking to prevent him from building up speed. Umberto's gonna stop him. But it was being held back. Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Austin Crab. And look at the knee right in the back of the neck. I'm not quite sure if this... Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Oh, nice Spanish fly. It's in there. Heads it and up. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. What a drop kick. Elbows right to the knee. Round and round. Nothing's going to stop him. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Something different here. Agonizing. The human anatomy is not built to bend that way. It's cinched in. I think we're just. Wow. And he's able to bend up. How Humberto able to get submission. out of that? It's just amazing. Watch the reverse. is wild. I should have finished it berries, but it looks like his end is near. No! Nobody home gets laid out with a <laughs> line. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. Just a barrage of stops. Buster. Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, more time. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. He's heading back to the ring. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. A run What? Tremendous quickness with the leg sweep. 
Good. Hoist it and up. Boom. He's up there. Big. It's time for the Liberty Splash. Here we go. Oh. One, two, three. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner, the All-American Marvelous Maniac Masters. And Uberto goes down with the lock. Tonight, it just wasn't in the car. Oh, slingshot. Oh, boy. And what's he looking for here? Oh, no. Sledgehammer. Better call Max right now. Oh, no. Driving down with the sledgehammer. Oh, he did a like this was a track and field event. The human torture rack. Wow. To a ball. He is back, ladies and gentlemen. And in other unrelated news, Robert Roode rushed down Jinder Mahal before he could finish his entrance into the match. Now, Waiting for the bell before taking the fight to his. Why? What is this? Why is he doing this? Why? Do, how does this make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't even. It has nothing to do with the match I just had. Anyway, it was an amazing match. All right, so this is going to be the end of this episode. We are September week four. Finally, no more repeats after a repeat, 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 repeat. I guess it just. It got tired of making me mad. Um, so fortunately we had ourselves a good episode here. <laughs> Great first match, the championship match, got the belt back. Uh, then we had a really fun uh, tag team match um, with uh, Joe, you know, Extreme Rules match against uh, whatever those guys name is. Um, and we won. Um, <laughs> with uh, <laughs> Joe got himself a, a really good punch in on a uh, coffee. And that was uh, that was a wrap. When, when, once Joe hits you with one of those dynamic punches, it's, it's done for. You're done for. Then we had a weird, strange, uh, unexpected match, match between us and uh, Duke, with uh, the, the, the maniac and Duke. And yeah, it's um, interesting. Interesting choice there for the uh, combination of uh, of teammates. But uh, hey, Nathan and um, and. Uh, Femi, they were a good combination. They, 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 they gave us a run for our money. And that's that. It's, um, it's been great, Humberto. We had uh, so four fun matches today. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And a great week.